ready to plan my birthday week. All right, so this is the week of July 27th, which is my birthday through August 2nd. I am using this Galentine kit from Scribble Prints Co. I'm sorry about the glare here. I'm not used to using um, glossy stickers, and apparently filming with glossy stickers is just as difficult as using glossy stickers for me. But I hope you can at least see the colors in this kit and how pretty this is. Um, I really loved the artwork too. It's kind of like the celebration slumber party type of vibe. So um, this is another one of those kits that's probably meant for Valentine's day but it I just I loved it so we're using it for my birthday and one thing that I do like about Scribble Prints Co is that it comes with um, so much like extra washi and all of the functional stickers I always definitely get enough for what I need during a week um, and then like this is pink and purple awesomeness. So I am just super excited to be using this. Um, I think it was a great uh, kit for my birthday. And this is the extra full box that I actually ended up using um, on my birthday. So that worked out pretty nice. And another thing that I like about Scribble Prints Co. kits is that it comes with like these little check boxes down at the bottom. I usually don't use that many of them but I still think they're a great touch and then I save them for later um, because I feel like they'll come in handy um, a little bit later and then this is some of the deco that came with the kit as well um, and I used it for this spread and then also um, my notes page at the end of the month and then the bottom washi is just beautiful here it comes with another extra full box um, and there are some gold touches in the artwork here. So I am going to pull in some gold foil with some leftover Adorably Amy designs, stickers that I had from last year, and then for the washi that I have on the sides of each page for the month of July, I am like 90% sure it's the Valentine's Day Ombre Stardust tape, but I'm honestly not too sure. <laughs> I placed an order with like a bunch of different tapes from um, Simply Gilded, and I honestly can't remember which one this is. So if you are a major Simply Gilded fan and you're looking at this tape and you're like, wait a second, that's a totally different tape. It is not the Valentine's Day Ombre Stardust. Please comment down below and let me know. Um, it's kind of driving me nuts, actually. I probably should just take some time to like explore the website or something to try to figure out what that actually was. But it, oh well, just let me know if it's something else. All right. One thing that is kind of a bummer with this kit is that I couldn't find a glitter sampler to go along with this kit on the Scribble Prints Co. website. There was a special Valentine's Day, um, like pink foil, I think was the color, um, sampler that was made to match this kit. Um, so I don't know if she made that instead of the glitter sampler for this kit or since this did come out I think um, last year for Valentine's Day that all of the glitter samplers have just been snatched up and there isn't any available anymore when I bought this. I don't know but I did have um, like I mentioned before this adorably Amy Designs foil that I had left over from my birthday week last week. Um, so I already was pulling in some foil and then as far as, um, not having the glitter headers are concerned, I made do with the washi strips that came with the kit. Um, I improvised a little bit there, not ideal, but it works. And then 
these are header overlays that were like a celebration birthday sort of theme um, that I put between the to do and the little things section here. Um, there, it's supposed to be a header overlay, I think, but I kind of use it as like a faux bougie box, if that makes sense. So instead of putting a bougie box down and then stickers on top of it, since these are like going from edge to edge for the day, I just kind of put the headers on the top and bottom of the little thing section, and it kind of looks like there's a bougie box behind it. I don't know. At least that's the vibe that I was I was going for, and I like how it turned out, and it's my birthday, so I'm keeping it. Although, there was a lot of um, peeling up and putting back down stickers in pure Ellie Planet fashion, but it's my birthday, and I wanted to make sure that everything looked exactly how I wanted it to. And then, ooh, I really like how this turned out. So, I also had some Adorably Amy Designs pink foil boxes and I didn't like how pure white the inside of the box was um but then the quarter box the squared off quarter box from the kit fit perfectly inside the Adormly Amy Designs box so it looks like I just have a Scribble Prince Co quarter box with some extra pink foiling around it which turned out awesome I personally think that was a stroke of genius good job Ellie that worked out great. And then I do know that I am um, mixing foils, um, but first of all, I am definitely pro mixing foils. I think it can be really fun, and it's my birthday, so if it's a little extra kooky and crazy, it's like it's a birthday week, so it, it works. And then the um, washi tape that I have is mixed foils as well. Um, I think it's like silver hollow, rose gold, and pink, I believe. And then um, there's gold touches in the kit. So it's like I had like a full range of different colored foils that I could use for this week. And I definitely took advantage of it. So here I am kind of trying to figure out how exactly I wanted to put this little checklist here. Um, I got some packages and stuff for my birthday from, um, from my mom, and then I got flowers delivered to my house from my dad, and I wanted to note that here um, as like a separate section than I would for like regular mail deliveries in my little thing section, um, but it kind of took up a whole chunk of the day. So it was kind of hard to try to figure out how I was going to lay that down without it looking too ridiculous. Um, it still looks pretty crowded and the stickers look super wrinkly because it's um, glossy stickers and they don't peel up as nicely as removable matte, but <sighs> I digress. Okay, so um, this as well as being my birthday, is also my mom's birthday. Um, I was actually supposed to be due on her birthday when I was born, but I came out a little bit early. Um, but because of that, my grandparents came. Um, they uh, live in a different state, so they came and visited us for our birthday week, and I really wanted to, um, show their, that they were visiting and, um, make kind of like an extra special little note in here, and I couldn't figure out how I wanted, um, to put down the washi tape if I wanted to have, like, the little arrow tail thing there, um, I don't know why I had such a hard time with it, but I think it turned out great at, at the end there, but it, I, I had this sped up, but it really took me a weirdly long time to figure out how I wanted to lay down that washi. I should probably be embarrassed. And then, oh my gosh, does anybody else have this problem? Like, I don't have pets or anything, but my own hair is just like everywhere and it's ridiculous and it always gets stuck on my stickers. Does anybody else have that problem? I hope it's not just me.
okay, this is super frustrating. So I worked really hard to try to get that YouTube fancy label deal to be straight in my planner, and I put it on the wrong day anyway, so you'll see me fix that later. So this kit did come with this really cute sort of double box scene, um, and I decided that I wanted to put the weekend banner on like across the top. Um, I did this on a previous week and I really like how it turned out. So I think that's going to be like a thing for me now. If I have like a double box type full box situation, I'm going to put the weekend banner over it. Um, I really like how that turned out. And then this is the point where I realized that I put the YouTube label thing on the wrong day. Super frustrating. My intention originally was to have my linen closet organization video uploaded on this Friday and I was having some major YouTube problems. Like it's not even a super long video or anything but it just it wasn't processing for some reason so I wasn't even able to get it up until Sunday so that was kind of a bummer um, but the sticker peeled up okay so it ended up being fine it was just a little frustrating um, both with the sticker and with the whole YouTube thing like I don't know I, people have way longer videos on YouTube I don't even know how they get those uploaded that's just crazy to me. And then I had all of these icons left over from this paper candy art kit that I had previously. I do have other Facebook stickers, but this like, I don't know, I really like the size of this one. So I'm just like, I, I mean, I, I paid for the whole kit, so I might as well get as much use out of it as I can. And this was the day that my boyfriend and I became like Facebook official. So I wanted to put that in my planner. Um, it was kind of like a special little day. So um, plus it's an excuse to use stickers. So it's like a win-win. I did end up having to use a Sharpie marker for writing in some of this week just because pens don't usually work very well on glossy sticker paper or when writing on craft tape or washi tape. And then for writing on the actual paper, I did get to use some of my favorite pens like this Papermate Ink Joy Gel Pen in the color Berry. Um, and so I used that to write in everything that I got delivered to me on my birthday. So my mom came over and just dropped off some stuff and then also had an edible arrangement sent to me. And then I also got a flower delivery from my dad. So um, it was a lot to write in a little tiny space. It didn't turn out very cute, but there really wasn't any better way to write that in there. So it is what it is. At least it's a pretty color. And then I did end up working on Monday, so I didn't really have too much time to do anything super fun on my actual birthday. I celebrated with my family the next day, but my boyfriend was able to come over and he brought some of my favorite pizza and we just um, kind of hung out and had a relaxing evening and watched one of my favorite Disney princess movies, which is Princess and the Frog. <laughs> 
So if you haven't watched Princess and the Frog, I highly recommend it because it is an awesome, adorable movie, and I think also includes one of the better um, romances in the Disney world, which is uh, Ray and Evangeline. And then um, on Tuesday is when my grandma and grandpa came to visit, so I did end up taking the day off since I had so much going on. I had a counseling appointment that morning, and then I had a hair appointment scheduled, which I knew would take a while. Um, it actually ended up taking six hours, so definitely longer than I was expecting, um, so I'm glad that I took the day off. And then I also got my nails done. Um, which were pretty much grown out by the time I got around to filming this. And then we also had my annual birthday waffles with my family. Every year for my birthday, my mom makes me homemade Belgian waffles that she makes homemade whipped cream to put on top. So I do have this little waffle sticker from Alley Cat's shop that um, I used to just like indicate my annual birthday waffles, but it's like the only time of the year that I, I eat waffles, but it's like a super special thing for me. Um, so I literally have a sheet of stickers for the one time of year I eat waffles. On Wednesday, not too much really happened except um, my February plan with me was published that day, so that's pretty much it. And on Thursday was my mom's actual birthday, so my family went out to dinner, but I work until 8 p.m. Monday through Friday, so I wasn't able to go with them, so they kind of just brought back food for me, but I was able to go over after work and um, spend some time with my family, and my boyfriend actually came over that day, so that was the day that he met the family, which was kind of stressful for me. Um, I feel like he probably maybe was stressed, but he handled it like a champ, so I don't know. Everyone seemed to like him, though, so that was nice. Um, I like him, so I'm glad that they like him. <laughs> um, and then on Friday, my grandma and grandpa left, so here I am again trying to make my letters look all fancy and not looking as fancy as I planned it out in my head, but I'm... I don't know. I think my lettering is at least getting a little bit better. I've been trying to practice lettering in my little like hand lettering practice books, so I'm getting better. And it is with a pen instead of like a lettering brush pen, so um, it definitely wasn't like ideal circumstances. So um, on Saturday, I had a volunteer meeting, which ended up giving me like one of the worst panic attacks that I've had like all year. Um, and so I didn't do too much for the rest of Saturday just because I was like super shaken up and not feeling well at all. But my boyfriend did come over later and help me calm me down. Um, so I, I don't know. Saturday was kind of a bum except for seeing my boyfriend that day. And then Sunday is the day that my closet organization video went up. Oh my gosh, my stupid hair got in the way. Sorry about that. And then um, I also finished planning March in my planner. Notice that this is like the second day of August that I'm writing this down. That's awkward. <laughs> I am, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm so behind in my planner, but I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. This is everything that I had left over. I'll probably save a lot of this for future use, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope I can plan on you watching my next video.